How do you actually start a painting? Well, um, what I start with is a, I, I start with a sketch. And so I'll do a lot of research. I'll, I'll look at a bunch of different animals. And I think I quoted that I Frankenstein them. You know, because you'll have one image of um, a zebra or something. Because I tried to do a zebra once. And, um, and then it's not looking the right way. So you have to sort of piece it together. And uh, I'll do a sketch. And then what I do is I, I'll go and I'll get a piece of wood. And um, I'm actually kind of particular about the grain, and so I'll make sure that it's really, you know, a, one that I, I, I can see something in it. Um, and with this one, I turned it sideways because I wanted the grain to flow a certain way. Um, and so then I will draw on there um, with a watercolor pencil crayon. Um, because then it, the color blends into the work. Um, whereas if you use just pencil, it'll muddy everything. So I tend not to do that. And then slowly I, I, build, I build into it. And um, sometimes I start with the eyes, but um, I found recently that they, they tend to be um, one of the last things that I do. So, because um, it's the soul of the piece and I don't... Uh, I don't let it dictate exactly what it is in the beginning, and I, and I like that, um, you know. And this one in particular, it was like I had this one image for it, and this is the colors are not what I originally intended, but in the same sense, I kind of like the surprise of it. So, and and I like how the shark is green and it works with our hair too. So. Yeah. So this is the Gibson Kramer guitar that I was given to paint on. Um, it's part of a traveling art show, and. Um, I painted a helmet girl, so you can see how I kind of built um, the helmet around the guitar parts. And then this part is going to be your hair, and it sort of wraps around the hair part. I'm not finished yet, of course, it's still a work in progress, but the hair is going to just wrap around the guitar. I love doing that. They have this crazy hair. Um, a lot of your work is translated into merchandise, yes. such as t-shirts. Right. Um, you also have a piece here that's a prototype, I believe. Yeah, this is my latest endeavor, and I've always wanted toys. I've always wanted toys. And this is my first uh, vinyl toy. And this is based on my uh, my own character, Kuro. And he's from my, my self-published book, uh, Tampopo. Um, but, you know, there he is. So I'm getting into more three-dimensional objects. I love the fact that my art is just like, it's like, uh, portable or wearable art, you know, and it's just something that you can have and it just sort of livens up um, like an everyday object, like your cell phone, you know, I've got jealous skins, so that's re it's really neat for me to be able to um, brand myself on other products. Tell me a little bit about how you handle your marketing. Uh, well, marketing is um, one of the most important things for an artist and often the, the hardest thing actually for an artist. And myself, I work with my sister. Um, who handles all the business and marketing side of it. Um, that's been in the past three years. Um, before my sister, um, I was sending out um, media packets, like I was sending out um, sample packages to um, magazines and to newspapers, and I would email a lot because this was before social media. And uh, it's not that, that I've been around for that long, but it's just that social media is a very new thing, and it's sort of taken over the web. and so. Um, back then, though, um, it didn't exist, so I would go to print stores and I would go to every local comic book convention and I would show my, my work, and actually that was the most important thing, and it still is really, really important. That's why I go to about 15 conventions a year, is because it's important for me to be um, like right there with the public, you know, side by side. I've got my table, and that's the only thing keeping me apart from the, the, the public instead of me behind the screen, and people don't even know my face. So. Um, I do a lot of marketing through that, and, uh, but my sister now, um, since social media has happened, uh, we have like um, a Facebook fan page, and a DeviantArt account, Twitter, um, and you know she could probably list off a hundred more things that we what we do. Um, but she handles that, which is really nice because then I can just focus on the the business, or I don't have to focus on the business, and I work focused just on the art part. Um, and Adapia, uh, you know, she'll tell you that it's the it's in, like a huge time-consuming thing. And you know, even for me, um, I think there's about two hours in the morning 
that all I'm doing is Facebooking and DeviantArting and Twittering and stuff so that um, I get that, um, you know, I start talking to the public and then, and then I do my art, you know, but it is really important to do it and to make sure you get yourself out there marketing-wise. Tell us a little bit about some of your future projects you have coming up. Well, um, there's this one project that I've been putting in the works for a long time and it's Helmet Girls not as paintings but as a graphic novel. So, um, fingers crossed, um, I will be working on that next year, actually drawing it and I'm um, so excited because Helmet Girls have, uh, has been something that I've been drawing for years. It's sort of like the first thing that I ever painted, the first thing I ever drew and now I get to actually tell a story. Um, it's called Helmet Girls Origins, you know, and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, and I'm also working on Tempo, but my self-published book, of course. Mm -hmm. And so issue four will be coming out in the spring. I'm uh, just bit, like nailing down the fourth script, which is all based on Edgar Allan Poe and his uh, and his stories. You sell paintings, prints, t-shirts, toys, yeah. comics. Where can people purchase your work? Uh, well, I actually have an online store, so you can go online to um, CamilaDerico.com and there's a, a shop there um, and you can go there it's my big cartel site and uh, if you're local you can go to the Aiden um, also uh, Golden Age sells my work and um, uh, I've got a list online of all the, the stores that you can actually go see my work and actually buy it so and your website is uh, it's CamilaDerico.com and I also have a Facebook fan page that you can you can check out too great yeah. thanks Camila